In this video, I will show you how to fix MME device internal error in Adobe Audition. So let's get started. All right, fellas. So first of all, let us dive straight into the Adobe Audition. And as soon as I am right inside the Adobe Audition, I can see the MME device internal error, which states that loading the default input and output devices failed. And would you like to review the Audition's hardware or your hardware preferences? So for now, I am going to click on yes. And if I click on yes, I can see that my microphone for the input, output, and clock is not working. So this is my microphone, which is USB PNP audio device, and it is not working in any case. So if I click on cancel. I will see the error message that the device settings could not be applied because I have MME device internal error. So there are two methods to solve that issue and we will walk through each of them step by step. So the first method is you need to go to the search of your windows and you need to type microphone. As soon as you type the microphone you need to make sure you search for microphone privacy settings and if you are able to see that in your search results you need to click on that. And once you are right inside you need to make sure microphone access is allowed by clicking on this button. Make sure it is turned on and also make sure let apps assess your microphone is also turned on. And don't forget to uh, also turn on the let desktop apps assess your microphone. It should be also turned on. And once you have applied these settings, you need to restart your computer and let us go back to the Adobe Audition. And as you can see, I am right inside the Adobe Audition and I am unable to see any error message and everything seems to be working very well. So in order to confirm that, you need to go to edit and you need to go to preferences and you need to select the audio hardware. And as you can see, the default input output and the clock has my microphone and it is working perfectly. So that was the solution number one. Let us go right inside the solution number two. Even after applying the solution one into your Adobe Audition, I hope so it might solve your issue. But if you are unable to solve the issue of MME device internal error, you need to click on yes. So as you can see, my default input output and clock are not working. And first of all, you need to make sure device class is selected as MME. And right now, my in default input is not working, my default output is not working, and my clock is also not working, which is USB, P, and P audio device. If I go to default input and if I select no input, it will give me the warning that do you want to continue? You need to click on yes. If I click on yes, you can see that I have no default input and my default output and the clock is set and they are working. As you can see the speakers, USB PNP audio device is working and out speakers, USB PNP audio device is also working. So that was the method number two. If you are facing this kind of issue of MME device internal error in Adobe Audition, you can use any of these methods and you can solve your issue very quickly. So this video might be very helpful for you and you are able to solve the MME device internal error in Adobe Audition. And if you face any kind of issues, you can comment down below. I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. And thanks again for watching this video. Have a nice day.